Libby was fighting. Libby was definitely trying to defend Abigail, and she got knocked out first, I feel. Okay, is that correct, girls? Okay, they just go keep on going. Okay, so then I, what I see is all of a sudden somebody else shows up and you, seeing you guys both knocked out already, they take you to, he's angry, which I feel that person is KK, is very angry because he wanted to do things. And then you were taken to a different location. I'm not going to be vulgar, but I'm just say, seeing a different location. Um, I believe there was a truck that you were loaded into. I'm not really getting a, a great sense on it. I don't know cars or trucks that well, but it looks like a pickup in the back, like hidden by like uh, garbage bags and a tarp, and then camping like a camp, a campground being brought not far away, but some sort of campground camping out. There's definitely photographs and maybe even videos when you guys weren't alive. Is that correct? Give me some kind of symbol. Maybe the candle. Let the candle go. go crazy if I'm if I'm t saying the right thing then let it stop if I'm not hitting on it okay so I feel that <sighs> it's hard to breathe <sighs> hold on a second okay, I really feel dizzy in my head Right now, I feel very dizzy. So I feel like somebody was hit on the head, knocked out, and choked. Or the other person choked. And they didn't think that you would die, but God was watching over you. The angels were watching over you so that you would not be alive for what they did to desecrate your body, your bodies. And so I believe that they took you to another location and did things to you when you had passed away. Is that correct? Make the candle really flicker, if I'm correct. Thank you. Yeah, because I feel very dizzy. So what I he hear Libby saying, Katrina, I didn't even know that I died. All of a sudden, I was standing in one section, ran over to help Abigail with that mean man, and... He hit me with something, and then all of a sudden I was like, what happened? And she goes, I hurt my foot. And it's weird because I think Abby hurt her foot too, or her leg. Her leg is the wrong way. She goes, but it's okay in heaven. Everything straightened out. Everything was healed. And we get to be teenagers in heaven because we wanted to be teenagers so badly. Um, you know, like when I see teenagers, I mean like 16, 17. <sighs> um, so she, she's telling me that there would be DNA and that they could still find things if they bring the cadaver dogs, which they did not bring cadaver dogs. And that was very strange. Like they found their bodies Obviously, to anybody with half a brain, now Liberty is mad about this and so is Abby, anybody with a half a brain would see that that was a setup. That was a, like, they were taken from a location, done things to them, then brought them back, like all cleaned up and um, maybe just partially closed off. Now, I don't know. I haven't seen anything about their deaths uh, and any try time you try to find out anything about how they were found. Nobody tells you. Um, that that's all redacted. Uh, they don't want to tell anybody because they feel that the person who did it will know. And so they don't want to give out that information. That's why they're so secretive. But they should have brought cadaver dogs there. And cadaver dogs could still be brought there. And Libby's, Libby's shaking head, yes. Um, 
because they can smell through water, they can smell on land, for DNA, uh, blood, um, any kind of DNA material from anybody within 10, even 10 years later. So it's been five years, but they could still bring those cadaver dogs over to that place if the families give, you know, Abby and Libby's clothes and stuff like that um, for the dogs to smell it. So they should definitely do that. I hope they do that. Please, God, let them do that. So um, what I'm seeing is um, just show me without having me remote view because I don't want to be inside the murderer or the person that helped um, with the, your bodies desecrate your bodies. I, I, I just want to see what these people, what these murderers did afterwards. Okay, so she, they're both saying yes, and they're showing me them driving back to that location, making sure that they clean up everything. I don't know where that camera is, but some how for some reason I see a throwaway camera, you know, like old school throwaway camera. Um, and this, there's some kind of technology that's recorded things. Okay, so hopefully they got the computers of KK and TK and they're closing in. Okay. Um Hi. Okay. I'm almost done. Okay, so I have I'm going to go through the cards now and see what what feelings I get. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, which is a young man to 25 years old and an important letter is coming okay now um, <clears throat> this might not be a person that was involved in the murders but this might be a person that it, uh, knows the characters TK and KK and they're bringing a, an important letter affidavit a statement okay I feel good about that. And that is the Knight of Wands. And then we have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I don't understand why this is so late, though. This is a person that knew TK and KK and grew up with them. Um, this is in the news. This, I believe, is um, KK's stepbrother. In other words, TK married his mother, and he suffered a lot of abuse from KK, TK, and he watched KK never get hurt. Him and his sister suffered abuse, and now, all of a sudden, now they're coming out with statements. But you know what? When you're traumatized and you're abused, you're very scared, because these people, these dudes are still alive. And they certainly weren't protected, these people. The cops were at their house many, many times. And that's that's why Abby and Libby are so angry. Because they're like, they're getting away with it. They're getting away with hurting so many people. Not just us. They hurt a lot of people. It has to stop. Seven of Swords. We have um, Plans, Hopes, Wish Card. One second, I gotta put my glasses on. Okay, so plans, hopes, wish card, highest minor arcana. Okay, yeah, so we all happy, let's, let's do a wish. I am happy and grateful that the people who hurt Abigail Williams and Liberty German and have anything to do with their demise, their murder, their desecration of their bodies, um, 
will be found out and will be punished and put clink clink. I'm happy and grateful that Abby Williams and Libby German, their murders, their murderers will be punished. In Jesus' name, thank you, dear God. There's a lot of people trying to help, but there's also a lot of people who are scared. Okay? But we are protected by the Most High, Jesus Christ, and God, and our angels. The Tower card. Okay, yeah, a lot of stuff is coming out. Okay, so we have catastrophe, accident, things happening very quickly at lightning pace. Okay, only after the tower happens can we have any kind of calm. But it's it's happening. We thought it was supposed to happen, like, and Libby, Libby saying that to me, we, we thought it would happen. She showed me hearts around Valentine's Day. That would have been good, but it didn't. They, they did get some leads, but it's just like they need to have, the police need to have so many things in place before they have their full case. Ace of Swords. Yeah, and I just heard it's going to be like the O.J. Simpson thing where they didn't get him for the murder of his wife and uh, and the, the friend, but they got him for some other things. Basically, he had a shit life after that. So, Ace of Swords. Yeah, I know it wasn't, it wasn't justice, though, because he, he should still be in jail for the murdering of his wife and, and her friend, the waiter. Um, Ace of Swords, frustration, double-edged sword, hollow victory. Okay, yeah. So, we will have victory, but we won't have Abby and, and, and Libby. Their parents don't get, and grandparents don't get to to be with them. But we will have victory if we get these creeps off the street. And th yeah, they're showing me three again. So one I feel is KK, who's behind bars now for other porn and other disgusting things that he has technology-wise and God knows what. And TK is not behind bars bars you believe that you believe that crap but this they're saying they keep on going like this three okay so somebody was told oh my gosh look what came up well look what friggin came up three of pentacles improvements underway but delays around it renown re renown glory place of worship okay so this is a church this card represents a church but i'm going to also ask tell me what else this card represents a church and they're trying to fix it up right they're putting the pentacles creativity money but these two people that come in can't celebrate because they're not married to each other okay so in other words yeah, they just showed me a sick thing um and thank you, Abby and Libby. I know it's it's a lot of people have been trying to contact you. And no, at Liberty, Liberty just told me, no, not anymore, not that much anymore. And they want to thank Kim Magical. Uh, her channel is a comeback because she really works hard. She has been working hard steadily. And she has so many um, physical ailments. You know, I think she has lupus. Uh, and she has a lot of, you know physical problems and she still comes out and tries to and does reading and automatic writing and cards uh, for the girls um and they they want her to know that they're healing her they're healing her body so don't be afraid keep going forward because she lives in indiana so she really is boots on the ground um so what they showed me that was kind of gross is that these people wanted to talk about it. TK and KK wanted to talk about what they did. They wanted to share it because when you're a pervert and you're sick in your mind, um, 
you don't know that that's the wrong thing. You don't have like, like remember Ted Bundy. He didn't have like a conscience, so he would it it would excite him to think about what he's done or to talk about it even with somebody safe that he can trust. So they want they definitely talk to somebody. Maybe when they were drunk or high or just wanted to talk to somebody about it. And that's why there's a third person that knows. But that third person is scared. Oh, that third person might be a priest. Oh my gosh. That just came in. And therefore not being allowed to talk about it. But yes, you can if you're a priest. Because it has to do with the murder. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to put that down because I just don't want to hold it anymore. Then we got the Ace of Pentacles. More money coming. Divine wish being granted. Yeah, more energy needs to be donated to the Delphi girls case. Um, and to prevent people from ever doing that to kids or, or anybody, teenagers or, or even adult women, to anybody. Okay. There has to be more of a lock on the internet. There has to be more of more people hired to watch out for this kind of thing, to get better at saving and protecting children and people. Okay, so this is showing some kind of um, from heaven more money being donated to that cause. Because of Abby and like there's a there's if there isn't right now, there's going to be an Abby and Liberty Abigail and Lib Liberty Foundation. And they're happy about that. But it didn't happen yet. I don't think that happened yet. Let me know if anybody knows. Okay, then we have um three of cups celebration. Bright happenings. Okay. Okay, so what do you want to tell me about this card? Is this right after it happened or is this now? Oh, she was like, uh, Katrina, you know we'll be celebrating in heaven when when those people are get what they deserve and they get the punishment they deserve and they're not on the street anymore hurting hurting anybody else emotionally or physically okay oh thank you thank you baby I just got my cards I'm happy okay then we got the emperor Stability or stabilizing influence coming into your life. Okay, so this is oh, okay. I'm feeling a uh, man's energy. Hold on a second. Okay, so there is a man. Is he in the law field? I think he is in the law. He's either a lawyer or he is investigator. He's some. Something to do with the law. I don't think he's a lawyer. I think he's investigator slash officer, police officer. And he has been racking his brain since this happened. He's been trying to get everything all in order to get justice for the girls. And he's he's very religious. He's very um, spiritual. It doesn't have to be like, you know, I go to church every week, but he might be, but he's just more spiritual. He's a little bit psychic. Okay. And I feel like he's been having health problems. And so he feels like he can't, like he's, you're not dropping the ball. He's not dropping the ball, but he's criti criticizing himself because he's like, I feel like there's some sort of, uh, like, I just heard prostate, like prostate problems. Yeah. He's being healed too. 
Just say your prayers. Keep saying your prayers. God always helps you out. And the girls are helping you out too. Okay. Then I got the Knight of Pentacles. Young man, 225 years old. Uh, Pentacles is usually um, representative of dark eyes, brown eyes, um, brown hair. And he's a visitor uh, with messages to share. Okay, so he's coming in. So I don't believe he's from Indiana, but he's coming in from somewhere else. And um, he might have been on, he might represent somebody who was doing the Delphi case, but then they um, got too attached to the pentacles. And they got wrapped up in the pentacles. He's going to go back to how he naturally was, where he really did have good intentions, but he just got a little crazy with the pentacles. Might have an addiction problem. God watches out for everybody. Okay. Yeah, this is a person, they just told me, he fights with his, you know how everybody has a negative and a positive side, a good and a bad side, a yin and a yang? Um, he fights with his good angel and his bad angel. Sometimes his bad angel wins. And the bad angel, the ba not angel, but the bad side is greed and f trying to be famous and try to be greedy and try to have money and addictions take over. Okay, whereas the good side of him is he was really trying to help find the killers of the girls. He was trying to get justice for the girls. Then he got wrapped up. He got wrapped up in 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 maybe getting a, too much attention or fame and thinking about how he can prosper off of it. Okay, but he's coming in with something where it could be helpful. Might even have to go on on. Um, uh, the trial, the stage, yeah, and a trial is coming. A trial is coming. There's a lot of pentacles, so that usually represents a trial. King of Swords is a uh, a man um, that has light eyes, like blue to greenish. Um, is a thinker, a man over 25 years old, brown eye. I'm sorry, why did I think it was green eyes? This card says brown eyes but i'm seeing greenish eyes okay so but this card says brown eyes and brown hair cold abusive demands respect <gasps> cold abrasive demands okay okay one second guys i just have to focus is this does this represent either kk or tk or anybody else that hurt the girls My gosh, yes, I just, I'm feeling dizzy. I'm feeling dizzy again, like as if I'm going up in the air and down. <sighs> like I'm on a ride in a carnival. Oh my gosh. Okay. That person is abusive. <sighs> brown eyes, brown hair. Okay, don't worry, because we have the best card in the deck is the sun card. Hi. Hi. Okay, and that's marriage, happiness, bright, bright pros prospects. See those sunflowers in the background? So it could be in spring. It's spring right now, right? Is it spring? Yeah, it's spring. That's a good sign. Okay, oh boy. The devil card. Okay, jealousy, trouble, able to break the chains that are binding you or holding you back. Yeah, remember I was talking about the guy, the Knight of Pentacles guy who started out good but then ended up a little bit bad and fame and greed got the best of him, addictions got the best of him. He's going to be coming back. He's fighting, he's fighting with his demons. And the good side of him is going to come back and he has something important for the case. I feel that strongly. Okay, and the devil card comes up because of the evil thing that, evil things that were happening that happened. Okay, the hangman, getting stronger in oneself after a lot of deliberate, deliberating and 
delaying in your life. Yeah, there was a lot of people, and then the pandemic happened. But in 2017, we had 2017, 2018, 2019. It should have been solved. We should have had this solved. But people held back, and people, then 2020 happened, and forget it. A lot of stuff shut down. But the people that came forward are the kids of TK, stepkids of TK, and they're witnesses of disgusting abuse on their mother and on each other from both TK and KK. Okay, now they're coming out of the hangman position. A lot of people are. They're like, this is, we can't ignore what happened to Liberty and Abigail. We cannot let this go on. Imagine all the other people that it's affecting. Okay, so Queen of Swords is a woman over 25 years, brown eyes, brown hair, cold, hard, demanding authority. Okay, tell me what this means. Tell me what that means. I feel good about this woman. I feel good about this woman. Um, she's not going to stop. And she she is also somebody, like I feel like as uh, in the law, in terms of law, uh, swords represent air signs, which are Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, but she is going forward full steam ahead for the girls against predators, against murderers, and even the people who do things online. Um, that's going to be changed. That has to be changed. That's what Liberty just said. Okay. Anything else? I'm getting Anne and a Mary. I don't know if it's... Uh, I don't think it's Mary Anne. I feel like it's. it starts with Anne. Uh, it might be in the first name or the last name, but I get Anne. Or maybe Anne Marie. Okay. I'm sorry if this that didn't help any, but I tried my best. I'm just going to do a closing heaven card or a message. Okay. Hold on a second. Girls, what do you have to tell us? What do you want to tell us? Abigail Williams. Abigail Williams and Liberty German. Liberty German. Liberty German. What messages do you have for us? What messages do you have for us? Liberty German. What messages do you have for us? Messages do you have for us, Libby and Abby? Abby and Libby, Delta girls. What messages? How can we go on? What messages? Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I had to put it down to pull it. They said pull four cards, and then I have to close. Okay, so this is from Liberty and Abigail. I have become one of your guides. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I wasn't trying to ignore you girls. I just couldn't take, I couldn't take um, any kind of like the sad things that happened. I couldn't, I couldn't take it. But I wasn't trying to ignore you at all. I want you justice. I am standing right next to you, to the left or the right. Are you on my left or the right by the sh by by the candle? The shoulder that hurts you. Uh, that would that would be my right shoulder. Thank you. Yes, I feel it. I just felt like somebody was putting 
their hand on my right shoulder and pushing in to that side of my neck. Thank you. Okay. Then we have, I was met by so many loving people. Yes. And at first, Libby, when I was starting to say Liberty, um, didn't know she passed over. She was like, I just got, I felt like something hit my head. I was trying to help my friend against that man. And then I felt something hit my head. And then all of a sudden it was like lights out. But then I'm standing and I was watching. And then, oh my gosh, they're showing me. Abigail got out of her, walked out of her body. And saw me and I waved to her. And then she walked over next to me. And we just looked back at our bodies because that's a weird feeling. I know that, honey. I know that, sweethearts. But we were glad that we weren't in that. He couldn't hurt us anymore. They couldn't hurt us. No matter what happened to our bodies after that, we were already safe in heaven. And all these people were there. They seemed to know us. We weren't really sure of them, but we were just happy to be together. Yeah, Liberty goes, I went first because I'm older. I was 14. She was 13. Within minutes of each other? Minutes to a half hour. Okay. <sighs> no, she's saying, don't be sad. I'm Okay. I should be making you feel better, not you making me feel better. Okay. She said, I'm learning over here. And she's saying that kindness is the most important thing. And friendship. And that's what she wanted to show Abigail too. Abigail and Libby are soulmates. Friendship was everything. They got each other. They understood each other. That's why they couldn't have gone on without each other. I think it was Liberty could have ran to try to get help, but she knew that he was going to do bad things to her. And maybe she would be safe, but when she got back, Abby would have been dead. So she couldn't let that happen. So she stayed with her. Okay, one more. Oh my gosh. Are you sending me the the hearts?